Hey everyone, so today I have my latest Vintage Chic Scents haul and I told myself I was not going to place two orders this time. But dang it all, I had this blossom bag that I just had to have and usually the blossom bags, especially if they're like back stock, um, tend to sell out pretty quick because it's only got like one or two maybe of them on hand. So I placed the order with the blossom bag and a couple other things and then I went back in for a second time like I said I wasn't going to and got some of the scent shots. I almost couldn't resist because she had so many scent shots and I really wanted to try kind of some different scents. So that's what happened with the two orders. So one thing I need to get better about is just making one order and if I don't get something she's gonna you know restock it at some point. I mean she seems to pour a lot of wax in between her restock so I probably just need to stop with the two orders because really I mean you're paying UPS USPS let's see twice and I think her shipping is like 750 or something so that's like 15 bucks that could be going towards the wax so yeah anyways enough about that let's just get into the order okay so the original order happened because of the blossom bag in Saturday evening post and I had this in a three pack flowers and I warmed it and I loved it so that's why the blossom bag happens. Here's our pretty little flowers and if I remember correctly this is zucchini bread. What what else is in this? Zucchini bread and shoot. Oh vanilla bean noel yes. And this one threw in my kitchen really, really well. You could smell it. I think I had it in there for like two days. So I knew that I liked it and I knew that I wanted it in a blossom bag. So that was that. And then I had never tried Rockford peaches. And I can't remember what all is in this, but obviously peaches. And then I wanted to say there's some sort of other fruity scent in there. So I think I'm going to like that one. Next up I got Violet, which I already had a sample in and I knew that I liked. I never thought of mixing these two scents together, but it really works. It's like Violet and um, Wafers, I think, and maybe Marshmallow. I can't remember. I'll put the accurate description on the screen. I just love that. That just smells kind of florally with that little bit of wafer in there. Just makes it really nice. Also, this is the cute little doily that she sent. I love this one. This is really cute with the birds on it and in the colors. Okay, so the scent shot, I really wanted to try this. Aunt Nelly Zucchini Supreme. Okay, guys, I can't really tell you what I'm smelling in there. But look at how cute the little... She's got the sparkles. I don't know. I'm going to need to warm that one. Um, I can't really tell you what I'm smelling on cold on that one. So then she's, I guess she's doing these new little scent shot cups. Strawberry Jackie O. Oh, huh, okay. Can't get it out of the thing. Hmm. Very pretty on top there. Not really sure. Um, I'm not getting a lot of strawberry off of that, so we will see. Mayfair is the next sample. I can't get them out of the shot cup, so I, I'm having a hard time smelling these. It's definitely fruity. I'll have to look that one up and tell you guys. Okay, so let me just move you over here to the front shop that I got. So I got Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, which I believe was the blonde moment, which I've never smelled before. So blonde moment and like Twinkies. That reminds me of something. Hmm. 
Hmm, again, I can't get it out of the dang sh shot cup, so I can't smell it. Okay, well, anyways. I got Oh What a Beautiful Morning. I think it's like her pancake scent. Maple syrup. Mmm, that one should be fun. Can't wait to warm that and see what comes out of that one. Let's see, I got the Greatest Show on Earth. I think this was maybe a sample, because I don't remember ordering this one. Honestly, don't know what is in that one. That one, I can't really smell that well. The thing is, too, and she pours these, so they need a little bit of cure time, which is um, why they may not be that strong. My Funny Valentine, which I think is rose jam and lemon curd. Yeah, that one should be pretty good. Look how pretty she did the top. Yeah, that one. Definitely, um, you definitely get the rose jam and the lemon equally, which is nice. And then I got another Aunt Nelly Zucchini Supreme because I thought I would like that. I think she sent me the sample in Life is a Cabaret. It definitely has a fruity note to it. So again, I'll put the description across the screen. And then... I got the Jumbo Rose in Everlasting Love. I think she was doing this special for her anniversary. And I can't remember what was supposed to be in this. I thought raspberry something, raspberry cake. It smells good. I'm not really getting a lot of raspberry, but. Yes, so that one should be nice. So anyways, that was my Vintage Chic Scents haul. Really loving um, how much wax she puts out on a regular basis. Um, like I said before, if you order from her, just, you know, if you're getting tired of paying the double shipping charges or whatever, just go in and just whatever you get is fine, you know. It's all going to be good. Um, she restocks pretty often, so if you miss out on something, chances are within the next month she'll have either the same thing in some form, you know, the three flower packs, the blossom bag, or the scent shot. So anyways, my goal next time is to just make one order, not two. And I know some people have been making like three and four. So anyways, um, thank you guys for watching and I will see you later. Bye.